first things first, what type of home ownership do you have? Are you a renter or a homeowner? Okay, and can you describe to me what type of structure is, is it? Is it a single family detached, multi-unit townhome or apartment, multi-condo? Uh, single brick, uh, brick ranch family okay. home. And can you describe it for me? Like what kind of roof do you have? Is it one bedroom, two bedroom, just just the structure itself? Uh, three bedroom, uh, three bath, and asphalt shingles. All right. And what's the approximate move in date? June third, nineteen ninety-four. Okay, 1994. So, have you always lived in this community? Yes, I have. Okay. And tell me how your family ended up here. We were. I am the seventh generation on the on the family farm, so we've been here for a long time. Okay. I am actually from the Philippines, and I moved here in 2015. <laughs> and right now I'm renting to own yeah. in Tipton, yeah. not here in Cook County. So not too far. But yeah, not too far. And I do have shingles, roof. I don't, I don't have solar. Yeah. So, have you ever invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home or any part of your property, business, or as part of a program through your utility? Nothing on a large scale. On some smaller equipment, yes. Smaller equipment? Like what kind? Like fish feeders or like mm -hmm. game feeders and stuff like that. Okay. So. Um, did you make that decision for you? Like in terms of not having a rooftop solar? Like in your house? No. Uh, no? No. Okay. Um, so tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. I guess I guess just the startup cost is the biggest thing right now, the initial cost. And I guess the other thing is is I'm not educated enough on the actual return. Okay. Um, what if it, it was made available for you and then you actually has done your research and then maybe – the cost or the benefits is actually advantageous. I would would I you would, be open to it? Yeah, I would definitely be open to it. All right. Mm, do you think having a single family living in your home versus a multi-family living in a home would have some sort of effect in regards to choosing solar energy? Not necessarily. I think it would come down as a, I guess, head of household business decision as far as analyzing cost benefits and stuff like that over current heating and air condition mm -hmm. and power bill and stuff like that. So I think it would, I don't think other opinions would really cause too much of an issue with doing the initial setup. All right. So right now you have a map of the United States of America in front of you. So with your pen, if you can just put a mark where you think the highest adapters of solar energy probably live in. Okay, for our interview, where is that? Southern California. Okay, California. So what makes you think that they'd probably be there? I just feel like California is a very forward-thinking state. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of sunshine down there and I guess just brief articles and stuff about as to where, where they have a, a good bit of solar power. Okay. And what kind of people or social groups do you think they are? Like, can you describe them, what you probably think they are? I would think it would be higher income, educated mm -hmm. individuals who, uh, who are just forward thinking and I guess want to go with the, as a green movement, I guess mm -hmm. you could call it. And do you think their social groups are more similar or more different with your own social groups? Very different. Very different. In terms of what? Uh, economic income, mm -hmm. I guess just social status and stuff like that, and then overall exposure um, to, I guess, just just money, I guess, is, is, would be the biggest thing. Okay. And now let's have the same question, but this time on the map of the state of Georgia. Can you mark in there where you think the highest adapters of solar energy, where are they in the state of Georgia? I know there's some down here. Here. Okay, for our interview purpose, which parts did you Down mark? in Decatur County, around Bainbridge, and then the Atlanta area. All right, so same question. What kind of social groups do you think they are? What kind of jobs do they have, or just their personalities in general? Again, higher, higher income individuals. Okay, higher income individuals. Same question, like how are they different or similar with your own social groups? Uh, again, they're just... High, they 
have more access to money in order to spend towards something like this. They can, mm-hmm. people around me don't really have the ability to afford it as of right now. Okay. What about your own um, family and closest friends here in the state of Georgia? Do you know anyone who has solar power? I do not. You do not. And why do you think they don't? Initial cost. Okay. Or perceived cost. Perceived cost. All right, before we wrap it up, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being very knowledgeable in terms of solar power, solar energy, 1, not so knowledgeable, how would you rate yourself? A 3. A 3. What about Cook County in general? A 1. A 1. A 1.